You late on your taxes? Well, the IRS could be coming to collect your passport. A new law could let the tax collection agency and the State Department take away your passport if you haven't settled your tax bill. Mike, is this really a time when we want to be giving the IRS even more power? No, David, this is a terrible idea. We should be reducing the power of the IRS, not expanding it. We just went through the whole abuse of the IRS right. by the Obama administration when he used it to go after his political rivals. This is the last thing we should be doing. Bill, is this a good idea or a bad idea? I think it's a lovely idea. Listen, if some deadbeat doesn't pay his taxes, I have to pay more. Yes, the IRS is a vindictive agency. Mike is going to probably get an audit notice next week. But we've got to collect those taxes. Rich, good idea or bad idea? It's a terrible idea. Uh, wh what, what about the delinquent taxpayer who's going abroad to try to raise money or sell his company to pay his taxes? How is the IRS supposed to figure that out? And Bruce, the IRS has always operated from a you're guilty until proven innocent policy. Totally anti-American. Uh, do we really want to spread that into the State Department? Listen, if these people have money to go on a trip and if their passport, then by God, they should be paying their taxes. So I think there should be a penalty for these folks. But again, Sabrina, this, this attitude of the art, I think it's so un-American that you're guilty. I mean, they can accuse you of something, then yeah. tie up your, your expenses, your finances, so you can't pay your bills. This would be expending that attitude, expanding that attitude in the State Department. David, that is the exact word I was thinking, un-American. Look, the last time I checked, our founding fathers enumerated very specific powers for the federal government, 27 if I'm correct, and, and, and taking away people's ability to travel freely was not one of them. Steve, why, we should mention, by the way, this has already passed, I believe in both the House and the Senate. Why are Republicans letting this go through? Uh, David, this is a good reason why people are so disgusted and contemptuous of the political establishment yes. today. Uh, they've estimated this thing will raise about $400 million over 10 years. That's will it? Do you think it will? No, absolutely not. So for a few million dollars a year, they're authorizing a massive assault on our civil liberties. The IRS, which went after conservative agencies, which illegally seized assets of hundreds of, of millions, of, I mean, of hundreds of people. You're going to trust them with a passport authority? This is insane. Mike, isn't this another reason why Donald Trump is, hit, Trump is hitting a chord here? Because he's pointing out the insanity of this and how even the Republicans working together with Democrats. The Republicans talk a good game about less government and less intrusion in our private lives. But when push comes to shove, they're right there with oh, the Democrats. Man, David, I, I think that's a great point. You're spot on. I mean, this is a big part of the whole anti-Washington establishment. There's very little difference between people of Republican Party or the Democratic Party that have been there for <laughs> decades. They're out of touch with the American people. Bill, I understand that we don't want to encourage deadbeats. Isn't there another way to do this, though? Unfortunately, there's no way to pluck this goose without causing some pain. And, David, you're paying more taxes because there are hundreds of billions uh, of dollars not being collected. I, Rich, do I, don't I don't buy that. I don't, I don't buy that. I think I'd be paying ta more taxes no matter what, given the, the, the way this yeah. Congress looks. Don't you, Rich? People just want to know that it's fair, and that's the chief virtue of a flat tax it puts everybody in the same boat and it reduces the size Steve of the, is nodding, power of course. of the IRS. Yes, yes, yes. But Sabrina, I'll give you the last <laughs> yeah. word. Go ahead. No, absolutely. Also, I don't want the government growing at the expense of their projects and programs that they want to expand that I think are absurd. I mean, I don't want to be told I can't travel so that they can fund Obamacare. This is this is absurdity at, you know, at the highest degree. It, it, it sounds like a little fascist for them to be taking your path. Movement yes. is a critical component of our democracy. Right. You don't want to lose that. Coming up, a new report says shoppers are going to be spending 25 percent more this weekend than last year at this time. Time for our stocks on sale coming next.